Now that you've reshuffled the absorbing transition matrix, you can solve for F and FR. Let's go back to this matrix, the one we used in the last video. To get F, you use the matrix Q in the equation F equals I minus Q inverse, where Q is this quadrant here. And I will be the identity matrix that corresponds to Q. Do not use the identity matrix here because its dimensions will not always correspond to that of Q. So using this formula, we get this for F. And this matrix F, short for the fundamental matrix, represents the number of transitions each state must go through before absorption occurs. For example, if we look at row 1, something in state 1 will go through 1.25 transitions in state 1 before being absorbed by state 3 or 4. To get FR, just multiply F, this matrix, by the matrix R. Note that you must keep track of the row and column numbers as you multiply. So here, 1, 2 by 1, 2 multiplied by 1, 2 by 3, 4 yields 1, 2 by 3, 4 with this 1, 2 and this 1, 2 cancelling out. A trick to remember what these numbers will be is to look at the R matrix. The labeling on the R matrix here will always be the same as the labeling on the FR matrix. So you can see here that the matrix F was derived from Q here and the matrix R was taken straight from its original form. Each entry in FR represents the probability of moving from a non-absorbing state in the rows to an absorbing state in the columns.